Our next uh, speaker will be uh, a candidate who just recently announced in the last few days, Mr. Rick Allen. daughters, two grandchildren here in Columbus, and um, my younger daughter has autism. And I also wonder about her in the future. I'm all worried about her anyway, but then I'm ex really worried about the future and the medical care she might receive. And my own thinking is people with disabilities, people who can't help themselves, will be the first to fall into the gap of this health care. Uh, also the elderly. I'm very concerned about the, the whole thing, but it really concerns me about that. I want to serve, why well, I want to serve, I believe our country is in a crisis. I'm fearful for the direction of my country for the first time in my life. I've always thought that we would just roll along, get better and better, and if we had a threat, it would be some kind of external threat, not some kind of internal threat, and especially not a threat that we planted there and we voted in. Uh, I've been to several Washington trips with tea parties, things of that nature and you know we surrounded the capital and uh, we, we had it circled. They knew we were out there, still ignored the whole thing. 60% um, of the country is against health care, they still ignored that. Um, I believe the uh, current administration is going to ram through what they want, whether we like it or not. And that's another reason I want to serve. Uh, President Obama says he wants to radically transform our country. I want to radically transform our country back to the original principles of the Constitution, the heritage and traditions of the Founding Fathers. And uh, I want to restore Christian, uh, this Christian nation back to the values that we all grew up on and that we all uh, believe in. The immediate goal of this race, of course, is to beat Sanford's vision. He has aligned himself with Obama and Nancy Pelosi and has voted for them on a lot of different issues. And, and uh, very liberal voting record as of late. He uh, supports the most radical president we've ever had by a long shot. He does not represent the views of this district or the district of the views of half of 70% of America besides this district. Uh, his uh, vote on the health care vote was unacceptable, uh, especially in this state, especially in this district. Uh, his, when he votes for the health care vote, he's not only voting for this ridiculous bill, he's also voting for government expansion and takeover of one-sixth of the economy. And uh, if you believe like I do, I don't believe it's all about health care anyway. I think it's about government control of our lives and the uh, future. And one thing that really annoyed me that he said that he thought about what Jesus would do or what Jesus would think about his decision that led him to make his decision. Um, and I'd like him also to dwell on, on what Jesus would say about the health care bill itself, the possible death panels that we still still might exist. I mean, maybe they're not death panels, but they are panels to determine who lives and who doesn't live one day because of how much money it might go toward your health. Uh, ration caring, the, the ration care that we're going to receive uh, increased deaths of uh, 
disabled, elderly people, and you can't tell me when you bring in a bunch of foreign doctors, you limit tests, you limit money, that people aren't going to die. Eventually, people are going to die. 